is trading up for a quarterback? Uh, Buffalo. Uh, the latest stuff that you hear is is you've heard Buffalo in five for a long time, and now it's with Denver. Uh, yeah, with Denver, okay. and then now it's hey, you know if. Maybe there's a chance they get to four. Maybe there is a chance that Cleveland gets out of there, which I don't agree with. I think if you're Cleveland, you should stick and pick and get a premier Hit player. Hit the win it now, buddy. Yes. It's I, time. I, like, I what else were you imagining they've, they've been doing this forever. Like, that's, let's just get some blue chip players. So, I don't know. That That's that's floating out there. So, for whatever that's worth. But I definitely – I'll be surprised. If Buffalo's first pick is at number 12, I'll buy you dinner. At a very affordable Well, place. last <laughs> night, Mayock, when he picked up yeah. the check, says that I've you never, never bought, pay for dinner. I've never bought with Mike. He won't let me. Hmm. I don't try very hard, to be honest. I know, <laughs> by the way, that was the old alligator arms last night when that check hit the table. I, at least I made the reach. It was a big number. You know, I, I just so you know, Brockman, it was a nice large number. Yeah. Uh, a whopping fine number, as they say in the Dr. Seuss world. Um, I, I made the reach. Daniel verbalized. Uh, can I, you know, yeah. like he, okay. he made the verbal. Okay. I made the actual legitimate yeah. reach for the well, Here's pocket. the thing, though. Here's the strategy. you got to wait till it's it's grabbed. Because if you make the offer before it's grabbed, then it's fair game. You kind of got to jump in there. But he's not going to grab it, and then you ask, and then go, oh, here you go. Right. So I wait for the grab, make the offer, and I'm clean. It's like the catch rule. You waited for him to have complete possession. He survived, and, survived the ground. And a football move. <laughs> <laughs> the check did not survive the table. I like it. So Buffalo moves up from 12. Yep. And they use, obviously, their other pick to do that, right? Yeah. What about the scenario of getting up to the giant spot? Who can do that? <sighs> You know, I, I laid out the, the thing that we talked about on the show that one day about a three-teamer with, with the Colts that could potentially work. I think it makes so much sense, and I don't know why. So how, how – just give me, give me, give me yeah. how that would possibly work, a yeah. three-team trade in the NFL draft. Yeah, it's, and first of all, I had Charlie Cashley call the league. Totally legal. Okay. You can totally do it. It happens in the NBA all the time. But the Giants – here's the problem. They don't want to go back to 12, so they – it's the third team is the Colts. They go to six. The Colts have been looking to get a bunch of picks because the roster is so bad. Right. They go back to 12 – Buffalo, it, the way it all kind of works, the Giants, I had it when I did the numbers on the chart, would have to just give up a fifth-round pick, and they were getting a haul of picks to go from two to six because that's a, that's a big number in terms of uh, the, the But the, the Giants chart. would have had to cough up a fifth of their own? Uh, a fifth, they would trade number two and a five of their own, and they were getting a haul of picks, you know, which was uh, number six. I think they might even have got the second uh, the first rounder from Buffalo, and then and the you Colts ha- would have gotten the, the Col- highest and the one Colts, the Colts were getting a bunch of those twos as well as you know going to twelve. So they were getting some action, and there was really no picks for the next year. You could do it math wise with the chart, which of course you got to overpay a little bit with with quarterbacks. But there's a way that it could work for those three teams. So you'd have to say that again, that that deal is struck right now as we're sitting here. Would have to, but it hasn't been activated. Yeah, activated. Yeah. you have to see who's actually been selected. Yes. To see if the one that the Bills want at two, they would be at two, which I would think they would be comfortable with. with Either one, Allen or Rose, uh, Allen or Darnold, yeah, whichever one it is. Those are the names you hear. All right, give give Daniel Jeremiah, give 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 Brockman his Patriots Patriots getting Rosen. Okay, here's a scenario. So if you if you see those three quarterbacks go and there's potential for one to slide, and that's Rosen. I don't think they can get all the way up there in the top five. Okay, but once you get past five, right? If the Colts don't get out. They stick and pick. Roquan Smith is the name that you hear there. The the Bucks are not taking a quarterback. The Bears are not taking a quarterback. Now you get to the Niners and, and the Raiders. Raiders They're not, not taking quarterbacks. But I would think 9 and 10, you've got relationships there. You've got a relationship, obviously, with John Lynch that just did the Garoppolo thing. So right. maybe this is the turnaround. You go ahead and come up there and go get Rosen there. Or it's the Gruden situation where that roster needs some help in Oakland as well. He could amass some picks and, and go back there. So the 9-10... I guess we will call it the turn or whatever, would be that's this area, the sweet spot. Got to get ahead of Miami, who's inside the division, to go get Josh Rosen. That's and, how and what does that cost them? They're, well, two, they're two ones, right? Two ones and the 43rd overall pick, Something else. All, all, all I would say is I think the, the 49ers, you could say they got over a little bit on the Garoppolo They owe them one. You owe me one. It's, yeah, I don't think Come it works on. Right. I don't think it works that's, that way. That, that's what you're selling. Right. That's what you're selling. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.